Really quickly before the video starts, I just want to say, please don't ever do this, please don't ever take this as advice, and please do not ever do this. <laughs> I'm literally ashamed of myself for doing this, and I'm telling this story due to the fact that I literally just remembered it, and I want to tell it because it's nice, fat, and juicy. So here we go. <laughs> um, so it all starts with um, my ex. Oh, okay. Before this video starts, also I want to put a trigger warning because this does have to do with um, talk of suicide, um, kind of graphic. Um, I don't show any pictures or anything. It's just like the like the way that I describe things in the text that I'm gonna say. Um, it's kind of graphic, so um, if you get easily triggered by those things, then don't watch this video because. This talks about suicide, and also it talks about um, threatening suicide to get someone back. So, if that shit triggers you, then don't. Um, again, like I said before, this was old me. Um, I do feel comfortable telling this story because I don't do this stuff anymore, and I will never, ever do this stuff ever again. Um, this was way pre-transitioned me. This was when I lived in my old house. Like, this was, story was so long ago. Please don't ever do this. I'm pretty sure I was like... 13 14 years old when I did this so please like I can't even stress this enough like don't ever do this <laughs> please don't do this okay anyway back to the story time um uh, I put the water on for the tortellinis I'm trying to film a story time video can you not put it on pause I don't want okay so back to the story so uh, it all starts um, after my ex had just broken up with me. So this was like a week after. Um, and this is when I was in 10th grade. It could have been 9th grade. I can't really remember, to be honest with you. I was trying to win him back because I was in love with him. I wasn't. <laughs> and I was talking about like band stuff because he had a band and... I wanted to like be a part of it I guess and I was basically just saying like I like wanted to be a part of your band and I want to like be singer or whatever and I was just talking to him about that and then we started getting into other stuff so I asked him why he broke up with me and he said that he was just like losing interest and he didn't want to lead me on which is reasonable now that I look back at it it's not like a bad thing he just didn't want to lead me on which is really nice of him so um my dumbass was like well how do you win someone back how do you prove that they care about you threaten suicide right yeah no no okay so basically I sent him a text and I said well the whole breakup really made me depressed and all that and yeah yeah, yeah whatever whatever and this is where it gets graphic, so if you don't like this stuff, either skip ahead or click off. Um, basically, I sent him a text that said, I'm going to shoot myself in the bathtub if you don't. <laughs> um, I don't know if that's word for word what I said, but I said something along those lines, and it was pretty bad. So after that, he started spamming me with messages, um, proving that he cared about me, which is what I wanted, but, um, not what I wanted to this day. So basically he, uh, basically just repetitively asked for my mom's number, like, over and over again, and I was like, no, you're not getting my mom's number, like, I'm not giving it to you, like, you're gonna call her, I don't trust that, like, no. So I never gave him my mom's number. Then he was like, fine, can I have your address? And I was like, no, absolutely not. Like, you cannot come over to my house, like, at all. And then he was like, what if I promise not to tell your parents? Or anything, like, I just want to talk to you. And I was like, fine, you have to fucking promise me. Like, and I told him, I said, if I give you my address, you have to promise me. And he was like, fine. And basically we made, we made this whole plan to meet up. Uh, outside my house like secretly and just talk so when he told me that he was about to get there I went outside and I waited for him I saw his car pull up but I didn't see him and he had already ran like to my front door and basically his whole plan was to lure me outside so that he could tell my parents because both my parents were home at the time 
So I saw his friend who had driven him over there and I said, hey, like, bro, like, where's, where is he? <laughs> and he was basically like, oh, he's at your front door. And I was like, no, what? <laughs> so then I went back inside and I heard this fucking bang, like, bro, like, I can't even fucking tell you. It was, like, banging. And, um, my parents entered the door, which is what he wanted. And, basically, he told, he was, like, hey, like, he was, like, crying and getting all flustered. And he was, like, hey, like, can I come in? I want to show you something, like, that happened with Alex and all that. And, um, he showed my parents all the texts. He told my parents exactly what happened. And it wasn't good. So, then I came back into my house with him in my house and my parents so they were all just standing there staring at me and so i look at him and he looks at me and he um and he hugs me and he was like are you okay and all that and and i was like oh yeah yeah no like i'm fine and basically i said to my parents i said can i have a word with him outside and they said yes and i was like okay so i took him outside for like 10 minutes and we talked and i said bro what the fuck was that about like i literally just said that i'm fine like i promise you i'm fine and i was basically just reassuring him that i'm not actually gonna do any of these things like i'm fine like i don't even have access to a gun like i'm fine and he was like i don't believe you i don't believe you and looking back on it now, like, understandable, like, <laughs> um, so, obviously, the whole thing was fake, like, I never wanted to do that, and I was never going to do that, so, I told him that at one point, I was like, bro, like, it's fake, like, I'm sorry for lying to you, but, like, it's fake, like, don't turn this into, like, some serious shit, like, I'm sorry, and he was like, he still didn't believe me, so, then, he brought out his phone, and he started calling 911, and I literally, like, I was so scared. I literally, I kid you not, stood there, grabbed his phone. Like, tried to grab his phone. And this bitch plays hockey. So, he's fucking strong. So, I straight up grab his phone out. Like, try to grab his phone out of his hand. But I couldn't fucking do it. Because he's way fucking stronger than me. And, um, he called 911. And he reported an attempted suicide, which never happened. <laughs> and sent them to my house um and then he ran away like from the house like and he like screamed at me he was like he was like do the right thing and tell the cops and I was like I'm not fucking telling them anything because I didn't do anything wrong so um I come back in my parents um look at me and they're like what the fuck and I'm like I can explain and I basically explained it to them I expected them to take my phone away and ground me for like ever but for some reason I convinced them not to and um I don't know how I did it but I did and I called a bunch of my friends freaking out um and then 20 minutes later the doorbell rang guess who it was the police so um yeah the police came to my house and um it basically interviewed me for like 10 minutes <laughs> to make sure I wasn't actually attempting suicide. And basically I told them that he called the cops. Um, basically, I basically told them that he lied to the cops, which he did, but I lied first, so it wouldn't really matter. Um, and they searched my phone and they saw the text and they said that it was like a threat, but it was never gonna happen. And I only said that to get him back. And they believed me somehow, some way, and they went home, and that was that. But it was probably the most scariest experience of my life. So, love that for me. Uh, yeah, so I just remembered the story, and I thought it was really interesting. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And me and this guy don't talk anymore, and I'm really happy about it because he's a dick. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed these stories, and if you want more stories about my dumb exes, then you can have them um i might do a full story time and a full rundown on my other ex who is in, like from like a year and a half ago it was like from a while ago i don't really remember
how long, um, but obviously I won't go into full detail about that right now. If you want a full story revealing the entire video about that, uh, comment down below. And um, there's only one ex I won't talk about, and that's code and it's personal stuff, and that's not going to happen. So um, I'll talk about everybody except for, I can't say his name. So peace out. See you in the next video. And I love you guys. Bye.